Hey guys, Dr. Nick here. So I've just finished uh, my day. It's a little bit late here in the office in the clinic, but I had some thoughts kind of on uh, my patients today, I guess. I'm just, I'm seeing more and more of it, or I'm paying more and more attention to it, um, about the vagus nerve and how it affects different people in different ways. So like, simply, when you think of the vagus nerve, we gotta think about what does it do? Well, we can think in simple terms, it slows on the heart rate, it supports digestion, and it kind of churns off the immune system. That's kind of what it does. So in general, whenever there's kind of a stress or trauma or infection, the vagus is churned off. Why? Because we need an immune response to go in and fix the problem or go after that infection. And then once the trauma or the stress is over, vagus can turn back on in order to regulate the, the, the nervous system once again and the neuroimmune response. However, what happens in, in these sensitized patients? So in those cases, what, what happens is that the vagus stays off or is decreased in terms of its tone. And then what happens then? There is kind of this disarray in the immune system where it's more prone to allergies, to autoimmunity, and all the other stuff that you kind of see. And then you also, of course, when people talk about SIBO, then you have those digestive issues in terms of bloating the gas, the decreased peristalsis or vice versa, or increased in the sense of diarrhea or constipation, and you see all the digestive issues that you would possibly see in SIBO. So it just, uh, I guess, you, you, we keep seeing this uh, day in and day out that the vagus is an important factor for overall healing because it controls so many processes and it has such interconnection with the rest of the body. So especially in those sensitized patients, like even today I just saw my, my last patient, we really have to kind of support the tone in order to have the overall effect that we're looking for. Just a thought, I just felt like I I need to say something about that a little bit more deeper, but maybe next time I'll talk even more about it. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for some more stuff, maybe on the Vegas Nerve.